Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Brinkerhoff with Hair and Makeup by Steph. So I'm going to show you guys how to work with bridal hair combs and pins and barrettes, as well as flowers and flower crowns and a veil. So if you're working with a clip or a brooch that's a little bit heavier, you wanna make sure that it has something to rest on top of. So I would place this somewhere, either on an angle or in the center, so that it could rest on top of the updo. But if you're wanting to do something that's a little bit heavier, more on the sides, you can do that as well. You just need to make sure that you have enough back combing underneath here to create a base for it to clip into. If you have a comb that's a little bit lighter and not quite so heavy, you really can place it anywhere. Typically what I do is go on an angle on either side, slightly off center, and then I can decide from there how close I want it to the face. Sometimes the bride likes to see the brooch from the front, so they want it closer to the face. Other times they just want it here in the back. The only time that I would place a clip right in the center is if the accessory was symmetrical. So this one's obviously not symmetrical, so I would probably place it on one side or the other. As far as actually slipping these in the hair, it's very simple. As long as you have enough texture in the hair, it should go in quite easily and stay really well. An accessory like this that has a comb is going to be easier to use in an updo or a half up style. And this is going to be a little bit trickier to use in an all down style. So if I were doing an all down style and I wanted an accessory, I would switch to something that had more of a clip or a barrette. So for her hair, I really could use either one of these. A lot of times with these accessories as well, they're a little bit flexible. So if you need to mold these pieces so that they match and flow with the hairstyle, you can do that as well. So I'm just gonna kind of visually see where I like that. If this were a real client, I'd be asking her questions about where exactly she wants it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up and slide that into the hairstyle. All right, so with the comb, what I'm going to do to sort of lodge this in place a little bit better is I'm going to angle this up at first and then switch it and go back down. So doing that will sort of weave the comb into the hair a little bit more, which is gonna help lock it in place. And one thing you can do as well, if you're wanting extra security in here, is you can go in to these prongs right here and you can slip bobby pins through those on each side just for some added security. Okay, and then another type of accessory that's super popular as well is just these very simple hair pins. So these are really easy to put in. Once again, these would be better for a half up style or an all up style. So depending on the accessories, sometimes they're really small and there's lots of them and you can scatter them all throughout the hair, almost like there's little pieces of jewelry in the hair. Other times if I just have two or three, then I'll kind of pair them together on one side or the other. And once again, since these are a little bit smaller, you could take them closer to the face or you can do them further back here, closer to the updo. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing where I go slightly up and then back down. And then we're gonna place this one just below, a little bit on an angle, just so it's not too much in a straight line going this way or this way, a little bit staggered. Another really important thing to keep in mind when you're placing an accessory is which side of their hair is going to be facing the audience. So I'll ask my client which side of their hair is going to be facing the crowd and then I'll place it on that side. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to walk you guys through how to place a veil. So most veils come with a comb like this or a comb that's plastic. As far as placement goes, the veils that are metal instead of plastic are a lot easier to place in the hair. So with an updo, there's three places that I normally would place a veil. One would be underneath, one would be right on top of the updo, and one would be on top. Okay, so if you want to stick the veil underneath the updo, when you're creating the updo, you wanna make sure you have plenty of back combing through here, all around her hairline down here so that once you stick this up into the hair, it has something to grab onto. 
And then once I get it up in there, I'm going to stick bobby pins in through these loops right here to secure that in place. So I'm just going straight up. I'm gonna push that up in there. And then I'll go in on either side and just do one bobby pin on each side. So if you do decide to go with this placement, it's nice because the whole hairstyle can be seen and it looks nice and clean, but if you want to do a double veil and wear it over your face, that wouldn't work with this placement. Okay, so the next placement would be right on top of the updo. So with the comb, you always wanna make sure that you're following the round of the head. So when I was down here, I was pushing this straight up, but now I'm going to be going down into the updo, so I'm going to flip it the other way. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this right on top of her updo here. Okay, and then I'm just going to push that down. So what's nice about this positioning is that it's also very clean looking and out of the way. And it's also one of the most secure places that you can put it because you're going right into the updo, but it's very easy to take out as well. So if they're wanting to take it out for dancing or the reception, this would be a good placement. And another place that's really popular to place a veil is just right here on top of the crown. So this is really easy to slip in. I'm just going to go a little bit forward to kind of weave that in the hair and then push it back. So this placement is really good for a nice classic bridal look. You can see it a little bit from the front, so it frames everything really nicely and it works really well for a double veil as well. And because it does frame everything so well, this is also a really good placement for an all down hairstyle or a hairstyle that's to the side. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and place a flower crown. So as far as placement goes, I don't want this to sit too close to the face because it can be a little bit overwhelming and heavy right there against the forehead. So I'm going to set this back a little bit and just bring the ends around to the back. So if your flower crown is already attached, just a full circle, then you can just place it on the head and secure with pins. Hers is open on the back. So what I'm going to do is hide the ends of this into her hair. So I'm just going to slide this in a little bit. Just like that. And then I can go ahead and get that secured with bobby pins. And then I'm also going to go in with pins and just hide a couple pins around a few of these stems for a little bit of extra security. So if you decide to go with a fresh flower crown, you wanna make sure to use it within 24 hours of receiving it. And you also don't wanna spray any product in the hair after it's been placed because that will wilt the flowers. Okay, so if you're wanting to put fresh flowers in the hair, I have a couple different little stems here that I'm going to bunch together and I'm going to wrap these in floral tape. So floral tape is something that I always have on hand in case I need to do this. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of this off. It doesn't need to be very long. Okay, so then I'm just going to wrap all of these stems together in the floral tape. So what this is going to do is going to make it so that we can bobby pin these into the hair and the tape will protect the stems so that the bobby pins don't break the stems. So now I can go ahead and place these in the hair. So if you have a bunch that's a little bit larger, I would recommend keeping it closer to the back. And then smaller flowers, if you have individual flowers, you can do those closer to the face. So I can just go ahead and slip this in the hair. And then I'll take my bobby pin and I'll just put that right around that floral tape right there. Secure that in place. So I'm just placing a few on either side. If I don't like where they're placed, I can always readjust before I pin. And then I'm going to put a couple closer to the center as well. And I'm kind of staggering them. So I'm a little bit higher and lower, trying to make sure that nothing is going in a straight line. So the key takeaway for this is definitely wrapping that floral tape around the stems so that we can bobby pin those and make them nice and secure. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some helpful tips and techniques for placing your bridal hair accessories. And if you wanna see more styles and techniques from me, you can click on one of these videos.